Building a gaming computer shouldn't be difficult at all. So right now I'm going to show you how to start building a low budget computer step by step. So let's begin. But wait guys, once you finish watching this video, press the like button. That way people like you can find this video. Let's begin. All right, so we're going to remove the glass panel out of the case and then we're going to remove this metal frame which will hold the fans. Then we're going to loose the screws on the back panel in order to remove it. We're going to be working with the Gigabyte Aorus B450M. We're going to lift off the latch and inside of the CPU socket you will see a little triangle and that's where we're going to match the CPU. Then in our CPU you will see the little triangle here. Put the CPU in place and then close the latch. Now I'm setting up the RAM in dual channel configuration. Make sure you read the motherboard instructions for the best configuration. After that, we get apply thermal paste. Just make sure you apply it about a drop. Don't put too much, guys. After that, we're gonna be putting the CPU cooler. You will see the two holders here, which gotta go in place. This cooler comes with a USB, RGB, and fan connector. So we're gonna go ahead and install the USB connector. Then we're gonna connect the RGB connection. And lastly, the power connector for the fan. We're gonna go back to the case and install the IO shield. The IO shield will make sure that it protects all the connections on the back of the motherboard ports. Then we're gonna install the motherboard and we're gonna tilt a little bit until it falls in place. We're gonna screw it in each hole inside of this motherboard. Then we're gonna connect the USB 3.0 audio cable and the front panel cables as well. We're gonna go back to the frame that we removed in the first section of the video. That's where we're gonna be putting two fans. I got five in total. We're gonna put the fan in place and fish the cable to the back. We're gonna be putting in one screw at a time. Put them a little bit loose until you put both fans in there and then you actually tie them up. We're gonna be putting these fans to the side once we finish. Now we're gonna install the back fan here and it's the same concept. You're gonna put some of the screws a little bit loose and then tie them up. Same thing with the ones in the bottom. Alrighty, so now that I have all the fans connected, I'm gonna fish all the cables to the back. Then I'm putting the metal frame with the two fans, and I'm gonna fish the cables to the back. Then I'm putting back all the screws back again. Then I will bring the hub that comes with the fans. Each fan has a fan connector and also an RGB connection. We're gonna connect all the cables inside of the hub one of them for fan and one of them for RGB. Same for the rest of the fans. Then we're gonna connect the cables that goes from the hub to the fan connector inside of the motherboard. Now it's time to install the graphics card. We're gonna be putting in the graphics card inside of the PCI lane. Let's make sure that it's tight and then we're gonna screw the graphics card on the back. Then we're gonna install the mechanical drive. We're gonna go to the front of the case and remove this bay. It has some clips. And then we're gonna put the hard drive inside of the clip. Make sure you tilt a little bit until the clips get in. And then on the back, we're gonna connect the SATA cable to the hard drive and we're gonna trace it to the front of the motherboard to connect it. Now it's the time to connect the power supply. We're gonna put it in place on the back of the case, and then we're gonna be putting in the screws. 
Then we're gonna fish the cables to the front of the case. We're gonna connect the motherboard cable, the CPU cable, and the PCI cable for the graphics card. Now we're gonna connect the SATA power for the hard drive and the fan hub. Now it's time to tuck down all these cables. I know it looks really messy. It's just that this case it's kind of hard to work with. And at the same time, I didn't have any zip ties. But for now, we're gonna put the back panel again. And the last step is to turn on the computer. Well, it turned on properly. Let's go! Well guys, that's the video for today. And remember to subscribe and press like on the video. That way more people can find this video. See ya next time.